Are you looking to get started using Todoist widgets? Maybe you're getting started with Todoist or you've been using it and you realized, hey, I could add some shortcuts on my phone and make this stuff a lot easier. If so, this is the right place. Get a short intro and then get right into how to do this. Hey, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy, going to show you uh, how to add widgets and what widgets are available and how you might want to use them and, and what you can do. I will be using my Android phone for this. A lot of this is similar across devices, um, but let's kind of get into it. I'll have it pop up on the screen here on one of the sides and uh, kind of go through this. So if you see me looking down, I'm checking out my phone and we're going to kind of do this step by step. So what you would want to do, um, if you're not familiar with using widgets, at least on Android, you just long press on the screen and that will bring up your options. You just click on widgets and then you can search for Todoist if it doesn't pop up right away. And then you can hit the down arrow and that'll bring up all of your options. Over time, this may change a little bit. They may give more options. They may create widgets, take widgets away, whatever that is. But whatever happens, you'll be able to come in here and find out which ones you have available. So at the top, we've got kind of the overview showing where you're at as far as accomplishing your tasks. How many tasks have you done? How many weekly tasks have you done? Things like that. If you want to kind of track that as a motivational tool, that could be one that you can use. And we'll go ahead and put this on the screen uh, just so you can see what that looks like and what we have here. We have uh, the different themes we can use. You can change the colors and opacity, just meaning do you want this to be, you know, um, completely opaque or not see through, or do you want to add some transparency to it? I'm going to leave it at opaque. Um, and then what happens when you tap it? Do you want it to open that productivity view um, of what we're seeing here, or do you want it to go to the homepage and go into your task? You can do that. Um, and then productivity settings, you can just choose what you want to do. Do you want to, you know, accomplish five tasks? How many weekly goals? Do you want to have these different things? Do you want to have the weekends count? All sorts of stuff. So kind of fun. You can do that. Um, and uh, by exiting out of there, I realize I just um, need to go back and redo that. So let's click and hold and place it down there and then just go with, yes, we're done. Okay, so once we have that, now it comes up on the resizing. Obviously, I probably would want this to go full screen um, in terms of the width, or potentially you want it to be smaller. There's a lot of options you could do here. Um, so kind of handy. And then, of course, the gear icon, you can go and change that later. So I'm going to get rid of this one for now so we can go on to the next. So we'll remove that. And let's bring back up the widgets and Todoist again. Okay, let's go into this one. I think these last two are the ones that are going to be used the most. And this first one is your today tasks. So again, let's place that on the page. And now we can see the different things. Choose the view. Okay, that means today or do we want to see our inbox upcoming or do we want to maybe see projects? So this is really up to you. You could potentially have multiple views or widgets. Um, a lot of people want to see their inbox, but maybe you only want to use this for today. It's really up to you to think through how you want to use this, that maybe it's your urgent as in these are the things I'm supposed to be doing today and important tasks, or perhaps you've got a project that you really need to stay on top of. You could use that as well. Lots of things you could do. You can also use filters and labels, lots of uh, options here for you to set it up how you need it to work for you. Okay, again, we've got theme, we've got font size, opacity. Um, and then we can, you know, open the app really quickly if you want that icon or not. Um, I'm just going to leave this kind of standard and we're going to put that on there. And again, you can drag and adjust if you need to, uh, to change the size. You could have this really take up a lot of space or not much at all. Um, and so again, we can click in here and it opens up the task right there. Kind of a mini view. You're not fully opening the app. Pretty cool. All right. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one. And we'll, we'll do the last one. We're going to long tap again, go into widgets, go into Todoist. And there we go. We've got the last one here. We are going to add task widget. So click, hold that, long press. Now, this is really handy because what that does is exactly what it says. That you just, boom, you tap that and you're ready to open a task. So let's see how this works. You click that and brings it up. So this is a task. And we're going to say due date today. And then boom, goes to the inbox, done. And it stays up in case you want to add some more tasks. Otherwise, you can just close it out and you're good to go. So those are the main widgets available, um, how you use them and kind of the settings you can do. Again, that, 
That task view is really neat. That middle widget or the second widget we went through has got a lot of options. So probably want to start with um, having today task show. But like I discussed, there's a lot of options in there. You could really get granular with it or maybe set up a couple of different views um, on your home screen pages on your device so that you see what you need to see when you need to see it. So if you have any questions about this using widgets, Todoist, any of that sort of stuff, leave a comment and I'll be happy to get back to you.